Welcome to the 12 days of SEO Christmas. Hey everyone, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to a brand new video and that's about as festive as I can get, but I figure, hey, it is almost Christmas. We're about two weeks and a couple days out from the actual holiday. So I figured since there's that song that's the 12 days of Christmas or, or however it goes, why not do something here for the channel related to Christmas, even though it's pretty much the same thing that we've ever been doing, which is building new sites. But I figure, hey, let's throw in something here that's Christmas themed because it is that time of the year. So I want to share with you guys how I'm going to do 12 sites in 12 days and hopefully even less than that, which would be ideal. But I want to share with you what I'm doing with these particular sites, the niches I'm targeting, and also share some of the data here over the course of the next couple of weeks as these sites get built with how much time it takes me to build them and all the other cool stuff like that. So let's hop into my computer and take a look at what the plan is for this case study. All right, so as the title of course entails, 12 sites in 12 days. So I want to basically take this video to explain what everything is that we're going to do in terms of the site and the structure, the niches, the just overall plans and certain things that we're going to do in terms of like link building and YouTube videos and whatnot. So first things first, I'm doing single city sites for every single one of these websites. They're just ridiculously simple to build. And yes, the content creation can take a little bit of time, but when you optimize these and, and really get them to dominate a city for basically anything related to whatever that particular niche is, they become lead generation monsters for the city that they target. And the build plan for each one of these sites is super lean. Homepage, get a quote, service pages optimized for that city for whatever the individual service is underneath the broad category, which is what the homepage is all about. So electrician, and then you got at your services like electrical panel installation, rewiring, ceiling fan installation, those types of services, all of each one of those optimized for whatever city it is that is being targeted. And then of course your terms of service and privacy policy pages. So about a five to 10 page website for most of the sites. And before we get into the niches, I want to share with you a tool that I use to track the progress of building the content and also different facets and different elements within Elementor. So the particular tool that I use is just on numbers. I create a new spreadsheet for each site that I build. And you can also do this with Microsoft Excel if you are on a Microsoft, or you could also do this with Google Docs so you could share with someone if you have someone working for you to build out the pages. Or you could also do this within Trello as well. It's a great one to do. But I like having it in a numbers doc because then I can keep it next to like the other activity tracking and that sort of stuff where I basically track all of the links that are built to the pages as well as tracking the revenue and expenses for the month. So that way it's easily accessible. And what I do with this particular spreadsheet is I have two different highlights. One in this instance, it's just blue and yellow. One to denote the particular thing is in progress or the page or the element. So like the header and the footer are not completed yet. And then yellow, which denotes that the particular thing has been completed. And then what I do here is list out all of the pages that are going to be built. So the first one, obviously here's the home page and you have the contact us page and then things get a little interesting when you get over here to the services pages. So what I would recommend you do is when you look through the niches that you're going to be targeting and specifically the locations for those niches, Let's say, for example, there's a good amount of competition for not only furnace repair, but also furnace installation. Let's say that each one of the companies that you see on that first page have separate pages for each one of those particular services. So what you'd want to do at this instance is to create a page that is specifically for furnace repair in that city. And then again, furnace installation for that city. And the same thing for air conditioning. Again, this is an HVAC example. So that you do the same thing, air conditioning repair in the city, air conditioning installation, air conditioning maintenance, all those in their own city. And you optimize each one of those pages for that particular service in that city. And if you're targeting a city where there's not a lot of competition, you could put all of the furnace and heating services all on one page if you really wanted to. And then you optimize in the meta title, meta description for the repair, maintenance, installation of furnace and heating systems in whatever city. So same thing with the cooling, you could also do that as well. And so that's the gist of that. And with this particular site, we are going to optimize each one of these individual services for that particular city. So we're gonna build a lot more pages, which for some other cities, you could probably get away with just doing one of these pages here at the top line that you can see right here. You can certainly do that, but you're going to want to assess your competition 
in the search results and see who's ranking and what type of content they have on their site. And a question I'm sure a lot of you guys might ask is what are the cities I'm targeting and what are the niches that I'm targeting? So the niches are cleaning, landscaping, electrician, HVAC, and concrete. So for the cities that I am targeting, the populations range anywhere between like 15 to 20,000 upwards to 100,000 or maybe even a little bit more just because I look through some of the search results for some of the niches and the search results look to be quite uncompetitive and it should be a pretty simple route to get to the top of the first page. And I am also doing GMBs for some of the niches and some of the, or some of the sites I should say, and also not doing them for some of the other sites on purpose just to see how well a site can do when it's ranking for all the top keywords but does not have a GMB. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is creating a YouTube channel for each site using Gmail account or getting an email from wherever just bottom line creating a branded youtube channel for that particular site and so what i'm going to be doing in terms of the content with those channels is uploading an animated video template that's niche specific super optimizing the keyword or the title of the video the description of the video and then also the tags so the name of the title obviously the same keyword we're trying to rank the home page for so this would be for example snow removal in Atlanta, Georgia, obviously they don't get snow there, but you get the idea. Then optimizing the keyword for that, or the, the description, I should say, optimizing that for that with calls to action in there and a link to the website or for that particular page, if it was the snow removal page for an Atlanta site. And then also the tags are optimized to a T for that particular service and all the different variations that come into play. So snow removal near me, snow removal Atlanta, snow plowing Atlanta, you get the idea. You guys know if you've been watching my channel for a little while, what I mean by keyword variances. So the next step is to then embed each one of those videos onto the respective page on the site. I'm building every single one of the sites from Elementor Pro and also going to, of course, install Google Analytics and Google Search Console, connect them in right away so I can track the progress in terms of indexing and where the traffic is coming from. And then once the site is built immediately, it would be doing citations, specifically two different services on the legit marketplace, one being the 32 YEX citations and then the top 50 USA citations. I may switch it up though from vendor to vendor just to have a unique link profile on each one of the sites, but those two gigs are insanely cheap. They're five bucks a piece, at least at this point in time, they may increase in the future. But the coolest thing about it is they get indexed ridiculously fast and the metrics start increasing and you're able to rank really, really quickly for a lot of these low competition keywords. And so when the citations are being built, of course, doing social signals. And then from there, starting with PBN links, maybe three, four weeks out after the initial build is complete and the site, of course, is indexed. And also doing a healthy amount of social signals just about every single month in terms of drip feeds and blasts and that sort of stuff, just to make sure that Google recognizes our site as fast as possible and doesn't let us get into this sandbox because we don't wanna be there because it'll take forever then to rank our site. So anyways, that is the case study here in a nutshell. Bottom line, building single city focused sites for a few different home services niches in cities with populations varying from 15 to 20,000 upwards to 100,000 depending on the niche and what the search results had looked like and basically just following a super lean strategy of just building the minimal amount of pages that we need and then hitting it hard with citations social signals and pbns i'm going to try to do this without web 2.0s we shall see how things go but if we need to do web 2.0s then we might do that before we get into the pbns it really just depends on how things go with the initial indexing and where Google places the sites. So if you're someone who's actually going to take action with this information here on the channel, go down below and leave a like on this video. And if you wanna stay up to date on this whole Christmas case study and also just see my journey as I share what I do within my businesses, be sure to go down below, join our ever-growing family and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell for notifications so you know when the newest content comes out because YouTube doesn't always let you know that new videos are out. So with that said, if you wanna get guided step-by-step -step training on how to build web websites just like this, rank them in the search engines and monetize them with local affiliate offers. There are links right down below to our courses where you can get access to that guided step-by-step -step training and a whole lot more. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.